Hi everyone, welcome to Brick Vault. this is Mike and welcome to the top 10 mocks video. Now before we begin, please excuse me all that rattling and sounds that may be happening in the background because Jack is building together with Evie a massive mock of a beautiful building that we're working on and they just won't stop even I ask them. Okay, moving on with the episode, I had a massive problem with this one because I had like 40-50 mocks to choose from, there were some amazing creations this week so I'm just gonna go with the ones I really liked and I'm gonna link everything else I saw so this week right below in the description. End of the episode is your fan creations, so I'm gonna be showing your awesome builds. And before we go further, I want you guys to check out our web store at www.brickvault.toys. The newest mock that we have added is the Mach 5 from the Speed Racer, the old show. And uh, this one comes from Sawyer. It's a really small, nice car. Jack made a video about it, so I'm gonna leave it uh, in the links below. And also the link to our web store if you feel like supporting our channel here at Brick Vault and also the designers that we work with. This first one here is coming from Peter Wright, it's titled Cryopods and I gotta say this right now, it's one of the most sci-fi builds I've seen for the last couple of weeks, really cool scene, a really cool vibe, I think it reminds me a lot of the Alien universe and the way the interiors of those spaceships like the Nostromo looked like and definitely the praise first comes for the lights in the ceiling using some LEDs he made some really awesome atmosphere and the build for that main pod powering the two cryopods is just something really of high quality uh, and good lego building techniques it just shows how much you can achieve with uh, the lighting in just creating a full-on gray scene if you look closely most of these bricks if not all of them are just different shades of lego gray but yet this is one of the most striking pictures i've seen this week and i think this mock deserves a lot of praise next build is coming from jap xap and this is the long hao temple first thing you notice in this build is the excellent technique for that uh, curved roof i think he even mentioned in the description that it was a super complicated thing to build and that was his uh, one of the first attempts to actually make that technique work but it paid off it looks amazing especially with that color combination of purple and gold just looks magnificent very pleasant to look at and the lack of symmetry just showing the temple of one side and some other architectural elements on the other side works great for me i like the use of some special golden molds for those dragons i think those are the old pieces from ninjago if i remember correctly and i like the use of that ninjago hat for the decoration along with the curve on one side of the building next up we have anthony wilson one of the most talented builders I know, his mocks are excellent, check him out. And this one is titled The All Starfighter J03. Now you think that you're looking at some sort of just a simple cube with an eye and some sort of an energy source on the top, looks weird and very otherworldly but the super clever thing about the cube is that it actually functions as the video shows you can just pull it up and this thing becomes hostile i like how smooth that operation is and how uh, unexpected and sudden that is i wasn't really expecting this mechanism to be there so the surprise alone is i think what made this mock jump into this week's list Continuing with the list, we have a lot of sci-fi builds this week. Well, I like them, so go figure. This one is from the builder named Frost, and the title is Planting the Flag. Now, at first, you're looking at some sort of an alien world's surface with different types of transparent bricks and some just rock formations to make it a bit more interesting. It's not that much of an impressive build if you look at it from that perspective, but when you move away, here is where things start unveiling. This is actually a transparent mosaic build of Benny the Spaceman. And what is really impressive about this build is that the builder used different heights or different depths or different types of transparent brick to imitate the shadows and the texture colors of the actual painting. So even the glares from a side light are being made use the white transparent bricks, for example on Benny's face. And I really encourage you just to check out all the leaders of the build to see how it's done and I think this is a very impressive piece of building. Moving up to some more earthbound things, this one is coming from Koala and the title is Adventure Cottage. This build ended up on the list because I really really loved the amount of detail and just the fullness of this if you know what I mean. There is a bunch of stuff going on just by looking at the front of the building and then going on inside you discover layers upon layers upon layers of amazing little things that make up this mock to be that complete. The front facade of the building is impressive to say the least. The tree itself is quite an amazing build with the use of those new petal pieces from I think 
2015 2018 sets then we have a lot of ornaments and great color combination to go with that the build also comes with two weird looking trucks they seem like some sort of ice cream trucks but i don't really know how to really name them then you go inside and it's just a packed interior with a lot of things maps uh, some ornaments some decorations on the walls and on the tables a bunch of furniture elements looks like some sort of a mystery magic shop to me i don't really know what it is maybe it is based on some sort of a movie or book or show i don't know about but i just appreciate the entire build on its own i highly encourage you guys to check out the link for the gallery for this particular build in the description below there's a lot of pictures showing possibly most of it and there's a bunch of really cool things to discover for this next one i have to mention that i really did not play skyrim at all i played a bit i just like fantasy rpg games i played a lot of witcher 3 but just Skyrim was not on my list, even though I do know about the uh, Fusroda spell that kind of became a meme at some point. Anyway, this build is just titled Fusroda and the first thing you see is that it utilizes those power burst elements from the new superhero sets in a pretty cool way, just depicting the way this spell works by pushing your adversary off the cliff. Apart from that, the build is pretty good, I like the rock formations that make up this edge of a cliff. The tree itself is worth looking into as well because it's using this new mini figure tree stamp piece that was used in one of the city sets and i think this is the first time i'm seeing a tree build with using those elements then we have some sort of a saber tooth tiger just lurking below for its upcoming prey and i think overall it's a dynamic really well made scene great design great layout and i think it's a cool little tribute to the game that kind of really changed the way the rpg open world genre went forward from this next one is for everyone waiting for the lego movie 2 actually as of this publishing we're after the movie because we have been seeing an early screening on saturday i think jack mentioned that in the news this build is coming from you chris it's the emmet super spaceship and honestly i think this is a concept that would easily make it into an official lego set just like with the batman's movie ultimate batmobile this one is a spaceship consisting of different vehicles belonging to different characters from the movie so we have the main spaceship the construction spaceship from Emmet and then we have builds for Unikitty and Lucy there's a Batman sort of spaceship Benny's of course I mean he's a spaceman and then we have a spaceship for Metalbeard this all connects together and makes up an E just like in Emmet and I honestly think that this is a concept Lego should explore and they actually did in the past quite successfully so why not there's a link below to the gallery for this build and it shows that also every single of these spaceships has some sort of a play feature I think it's definitely worth checking out the next Next two builds actually come from a Bionicle builder, Gamma Ray. Now I'm not very much into Bionicle builds, I was way in my dark ages when that theme was on the shelves and also coming off the shelves, but I do appreciate the level of cleverness and actual techniques that you have to have to actually get a good Bionicle build out. Toa Waito is an excellent uh, example of a, some sort of a otherworldly warrior, great build for that ribcage of his, the entire torso is very well made, plus the color combo of blue and golden pretty much always works. Then we have some armored legs, there is a cape and a great use of one of the bionicle faces, I don't really know who that guy is because again, dark ages. And he's wielding some sort of a long staff. I like the way that he also used a door, a big door piece for his shield. And this build is just an excellent example of a bionicle action figure. The next one could be his pet, Nui Meko, is some sort of a low laying dragon with lime green scales for his armor. Awesome build for the fierce looking face. And I wonder why he did not photograph these two guys together because they would make a great team out of uh, bionicle pieces check out the link below for amazing bionicle builds from this builder and also don't forget to give a follow to all the builders from this week that you really like david zambiro one of our favorite builders was also building this week and he posted the space lab another great build from him showing a functioning space lab first of all i like the first perspective shot of that window showing some sort of a martian surface in the background a lot of gribbling inside i like the robots just scurrying around the one with the water tank just um, you know watering the plants is actually pretty cute i guess we are dealing with some sort of a greenhouse uh, upon the surface of an alien planet and honestly you just have to appreciate the thought process that goes into making these mocks look so good with the amount of gribbling they have and david zambiro by far is an expert on that i got the last two builds for this week's list i think that's more than 10 but there was just so many first one is a build completed a few months ago but finally the builder has submitted some pictures coming from corvus auriac mocks this is the castle Y Lin. 
Now, disclaimer here is that these photographs are highly photoshopped, so they have effects like water, sky elements, or some moss growing on the castle walls. But still, you have to appreciate the amount of effort and work that went into this 21,000 bricks big build. Castles are not an uncommon thing in the LEGO world. There is a whole community dedicated just to building medieval things. But sometimes things like this just pop up and they just cast a shadow on all the other creations. Great work on those walls. Very very realistic, I like also the stonework below the castle and the base showing the water defenses. The two massive towers make the smoke quite high, the builder does not mention how high it is, but I believe it's uh, quite an eye catcher if you put this thing on any sort of LEGO convention. Anyhow, I think his Photoshop skills are excellent, that shot of the castle in the sunset with the waves crashing by the rocks is just insanely mesmerizing. And I do appreciate the patience that you had to actually make this mock happen. The last one here on the list is from Dwalin Forkbird, this is the steampunk Moon City. I do not know if that is a take on the classic monorail set, as sought by many and quite collectible. I do enjoy the fact that we have five different, entirely different buildings in the back with different styles to each one of them. And there's the whole track with a steampunk train. I think in the middle we have some sort of a rocket being prepared for launch. And even though this smoke is not the biggest, I still appreciate the thought that went into it and the fact that it just looks cool with all the small details, steampunk people in a steampunk environment and all the little things that you would find in a city like this if you found yourself to be in one. Anyhow, that's it for this week's list. I think this episode was even longer than I was expecting it to be. There is a whole lot of awesome other mocks that did that make the is because of the lack of time but i left all the links below guys i highly recommend you guys to check out all the builders give them a solid thumbs up a solid follow if you enjoy what they're doing i think the whole community of these amazing people who are spending tons and tons of hours on these amazing builds really deserves some recognition and support as always thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this episode don't forget to leave a like right below subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and you can also click the bell button to get notified for every single video of ours and now it's time to show off your fan creation that you guys are sending the rules and the email is right below if you want to send more for next week here is some awesome music to keep you going and i hope to see you guys in the next episode thank you so much for watching it was mike and i'll see you next time on break vault